Welcome back. Well, the real meaning of Memorial Day, it's to remember those who sacrificed so that we may be free. Now, decades ago, World War II war video, uh, widows, families, Gold Star mothers, they all came to Memory Grove in Salt Lake to remember. Now, years later, many of those widows and family members, they're also gone. Craig Worth rewinds the film to a Memorial Day in the 90s when he joined those aging family members paying tribute to their loved ones who were lost in World War II. On this patriotic weekend, let us remember those who kept our freedom strong. We visit Memory Grove, where a flag flies high overhead in memory of James Thomas, who died during World War II. There is a meditation chapel. It's in memory of Lieutenant Ross Beeson, who was shot down off the coast of Italy. His body was never found. The monument remembers all heroes who also never had a grave. Here at least they have a stone to mark their sacrifice. Lieutenant Alter over the Pacific. Sergeant Ramon Allen off Tunisia. Lieutenant Walter Alquist near the U.S. coast. And many, many more. And in the center of this is a poem that's common to all these markers. It reads, my soul lies not in alien seas nor under foreign sod. It is here with you today in the warm, sweet smile of God. And today we pause to remember Sergeant William Andrews over Japan, Lieutenant Grant Bagley in the Mediterranean area, Corporal Emil Barlow in the South China Sea, and many more. 2,400 Utahns would lose their lives in World War II. The Meditation Chapel would become a monument to all heroes, but especially a poignant memory for those who were lost where their bodies could not be found. A place for the relatives to come and meditate. A place for mothers whose children were not coming home. They came in 1948 and for many years after. Now so many of the mothers, siblings, and war widows are gone. On a Memorial Day of 24 years ago, I met those relatives of the heroes. A group of the war widows, the friends and family members of those who were lost overseas came up here, paid respects, and shared their stories with me. Time is fading away the memories, but we bring them back today. Jean Pitts was married for just five days when her husband went to the Philippines. Corporal Davis spent two years as a POW. He was being transferred to Japan in what was called a hell ship for POWs. They had all our prisoners down in the hold and it was torpedoed by our ships because they didn't, it was unmarked and they had no way of knowing that our prisoners were aboard. And we met Donna Clank delivering a flower to her cousin's marker. She had already paid respects to her brother's marker, Bill Armour. We wonder what would he look like now? Would he, how many children? Armour was just a kid. It's a place where you can come and, and you remember, you reminisce. You, it's just a nice, nice, comfortable place to come. Bill Armour was another Utah son who closed each letter with the words that he missed his grandma. These are the people who were the subject of some of the most sad telegrams in history. They were lost and they would never be found. I'm very, very proud of what he did. Yes, a memorial to our Utah sons and a rare look inside and under the gold leaf ceiling, you see their faces in the windows each dedicated to the service they gave this country then, and we remember them today. Craigworth, ABC 4 News.